In this video, you will learn how to pipe Hatashu. In a previous video, Hatashu batter was demonstrated. This time, one of our students will demonstrate how to pipe and bake various shapes of Hatashu. There are numerous ways that it can be piped and cooked once the batter is properly made. Depending on what you're going to make, this will dictate the shape in which you need to pipe your batter. Today, let's make eclairs, cream puffs, and swans. For the eclair and cream puff, you will use a round or otherwise called straight tip and pipe straight logs that are about four to five inches in length, like this. Be careful when piping that you are not pulling on the dough and creating an uneven eclair. Additionally, no dog bones. Now, let's do the cream puffs. These are easy. Just pipe in a consistent manner and ensure that the tip is pressed down with a bit of water so that it doesn't burn in the oven. Lastly, for the swans, you would use a star tip for the body and you would pipe it as if you would do a shell pattern. Now for the swan necks. Just get some batter into a cornet and think of the number two. These need to be baked on a separate sheet pan since they will bake very quickly. Now, these are ready for the oven. Ensure that you do not open your oven when baking as patashu will deflate. They need to bake well and expand and develop that crust. Then the interior will continue and finish baking. A properly baked eclair should look like this. An underbaked eclair would look like this. If you take a look closely, the color of the properly baked patashu items versus the underbaked is significantly different. The Maillard reaction is much darker on the properly baked items versus the underbaked. Additionally, you will see that the interiors of the properly baked items are nice and dry versus this underbaked one, which as you can see here, has some sticky batter in the middle, which is clearly not cooked. Best of luck to you in your piping and baking endeavors. Remember, adjust tip shape and size based on your completed types. Bake it fully so the interior is not soggy. Lastly, freeze after fully baked for later use. 